New Red Dead Online update. Red Ben Clemson, Legendary Bounty, Ruthless Train Robber and Murderer, plus new free game series, weekly collection, clothing, and more. Authorities have placed a bounty on the head of one Red Ben Clemson, known for wreaking havoc on local train routes and leader of the notorious Red Ben Gang. Bold and brazen, Clemson fancies himself a bit of dandy with a taste for fine tailored suits and haberdashery, making him easy for bounty hunters to identify should he choose to strike again. He and his gang were last seen stalking the train tracks in New Austin looking for their next score, but be forewarned, Clemson is a known sharpshooter and is considered armed and dangerous to all who dare approach. So drop a like if you guys do go on to enjoy today's video, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and make sure to follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram at HazardousHDTV to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest Red Dead Redemption 2 news and information. I also want to mention I am live every single day on Twitch.tv, so if you are in the market for daily Red Dead Online live streams, you can be sure to always have a channel that's excited to have a conversation and play Red Dead Online with you. This week we have a new weekly collection, clothing editions, and more. More. Avid collectors can earn their living this week by tracking down the Blood Flower, Chocolate Daisy, and Creek Plum for Madame Nazar, thereby assembling the Herbalist Collection. Deliver the collection to Madame Nazar directly or mail it via your local post office for a handsome sum. And meanwhile, crack shot players looking for a test of skill, reflexes, and dexterity can assess theirs in this week's featured free aim series, Sport of Kings. The Wheeler Rawson and Company catalog has plenty on offer this week, including the Cardozo vest, available for a limited time only, as well as the Dunaway coat, the Perkis and Piero hats, the Union cap, the Farley shirt, and Tilson sweater. Meanwhile, our all permanent additions to the Wheeler Ross and Company catalog, and patrons can also browse new colorways of the Ledbetter hat, Fuentes Poncho, and Kilman vest, plus new footwear options with the Parson boots, Rowland boots, Serrata boots, and Cibola boots. You can find all of these clothing items and their colors found at the end and showcased at the end of this video. Bonuses and benefits. The Wheeler Ross and Company Club and Outlaw Pass on Xbox One and PlayStation 4 comes to a close this week, ending November 18th. Remember, all exclusive Outlaw Pass rewards up to your current club rank unlock instantly with the purchase of the Outlaw Pass, and everything you unlock before November 18th stays with you permanently. So visit the progress menu to view your club rank, and as an added bonus for players on Xbox One and PlayStation 4, Outlaw Pass holders who reach club rank 70 by the end of the week will receive an all-white Cardozo vest free of charge, in addition to acquiring all the debonair stylings and professional benefits from the Outlaw Pass that it delivers, of course. And collectors will be very happy to hear this week that they can take 25% off the retail price of the Pennington Shovel and 50% off all collector maps, while also receiving a 25% bonus on Red Dead Online money payouts on every single collector set. So to go into a little bit of detail here with this 25% bonus, basically now in Red Dead Online, each collection will get you 25% bonus and this will break down as follows the wildflowers will now grant you $194.38 this week the suit of cups will get you $300.63 the suit of swords $358.13 the suit of wands $298.75 the suit of pentacles $358.75 those were all the tarot cards and now we're moving on to the lost jewelry the bracelets will get you $338.38 the earrings will get you $455.63 the necklaces will get you $418.75. The rings will get you $472.50. The bottles will get you $200.63. The eggs will get you $228.13. The arrowheads will get you $361.25. The family heirlooms will get you $365.63. And lastly, the coins coming out at a whopping $675 compared to their usual $540. So basically, if you collected everything here in Red Dead Online for one day and sold one set of each collectible set, you will make over $5,000 compared to just $4,000. And if you sold each collection every day for a week, you will end up with $35,185.78. It's super, super worth it to go out collecting this week. And also, all PlayStation Plus members can collect the Page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, and King of Pentacles tarot cards simply by playing Red Dead Online anytime before now and November 18th. And players who can connect their social club accounts with Twitch Prime will receive the bounty hunting license for free and an additional 10% off the field shovel and collector maps above. But just be warned, I connected my social club account with Twitch Prime and I still didn't get the bounty hunter license for free on PC. I didn't get it for PS4, so 
something with that whole thing is not really working out. But also, of course, just stay tuned to the Newswire for next week's final Legendary Bounty. So here we are. This week's new update holds the second to last Legendary Bounty to be introduced to Red Dead Online. And after next week, there will be no more new bounties added each week. Perhaps we could see Legendary Animals next for the Trader role, considering the Trader is the only one of the three roles that does not have weekly challenges in regards to it, but that is completely unofficial, that's just my thoughts, and so it's probably not even going to happen, but it is just a thought. But this week's bounty was amazing. I love the types of bounties where players are getting shot, and the fact this Legendary Bounty only has one target and all gunfights take place on or right next to a stolen train, as well as there are lots of lootables for your character on this train, it just makes me love it. Definitely keep an eye out in the train cars for tier 1 health cures and open miracle tonics and also I should warn you, be very mindful of how close quarters this bounty is. Some enemies carry a sawed off shotgun and their first shot is most of the time deadly if you are close enough. So don't be like me and treat the enemies in this bounty like any other bot in the game where you can loot enemies freely and they will miss 99 out of 100 of their shots. Their sawed off got me on this bounty and I accidentally killed the target too so I can't necessarily speak to the pay of this mission but like everything else in the game, the longer you take the more money you will make and that goes for gold bounty hunter xp as well as normal xp if you are still trying to rank that up and another reminder make sure you are taking advantage of collecting this week the collector role is the most lucrative role to pursue in the game anyway and with the bonus for collections this week of being 25 percent you can make over thirty five thousand one hundred and seventy eight dollars just for picking up tarot cards and valuables out of lock boxes on the ground it's highly worth it and if you do not have the time to pursue the collections at all you can still collect all the coins it will take you about one hour and you could still make six hundred and seventy five dollars per day off of that compared to the usual $540. So basically what I'm saying is get to collecting. But with all that said and out of the way, that is everything here that is up on deck for this new weekly update. I think a lot of us are looking forward to the final legendary bounty next week. We will see where it all goes. Will they add in all the bounties now for us to play in a playlist on demand? Will they show up in posters still or will they disappear forever? That would be a waste of fun content though in my opinion. I will surely keep you guys up to date, but hopefully you enjoy the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Are you looking forward to the legendary bounty next week and what do you think of the collector role? bonus for this week will it get you out on the trail this week to start searching if you do decide to collect all the sets to take advantage of the bonus make sure you use the interactive collector map that allows you to create your own routes filter collectibles find random digs in the description and found on our discord below whatever you think of this week's update though seriously please feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comments section of this video i really hope people still enjoy playing this game i'm loving it more than ever on pc and having to start my progress over just makes me want to grind the game more but with that said hopefully you enjoyed the video make sure you drop a like down below and of course if you are new to the channel make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things red dead online and red dead redemption 2 i got you covered with the best of updates news information tips tricks leaks and all of that good stuff and also grand theft auto online and the last of us part 2 content can't forget about those if you guys want to follow me on twitter twitch and instagram to also get connected with me outside of youtube i practically live on all of those platforms you can follow me at hazardous hdtv and all of those links can be found in the description down below thank you guys all so very much for watching and i will see you guys in the next red dead online video enjoy the clothing and adios amigos A new hat can change your life, and all of mine will change it for the better. No problem at all. Well, I can only take gold for that, I'm afraid. Come now, don't doubt yourself. That looks excellent on you. That's all right, whatever you feel. What color speaks to you?
Oh, my man, if I had a dollar for every... That's fine. You make the calls here. That will require gold to purchase. Do you have some? There are a few colors you can go with for this one. No problem at all. Well, I have a selection of different fabrics for that one. Well, I can only take gold for that, I'm afraid. There's nothing worse than a bad pair of boots. That's why mine are all of the utmost quality. That's all right, whatever you feel. It doesn't matter what kind of life you lead, everyone needs a decent pair of boots.